before I come to my argument, a supplementary question. Actually, what I have sought for was whether there is any specific duration for the reservation of the backward quota in the government employment sector. The answer to the first question was, of course, reservation started from 1967 onwards. That is about general quota. I'm not talking about the general quota. I'm asking a question within the reserve uh, group, the, the reserve uh, categories. Uh, in this, there was no reply. And therefore, my supplementary question is whether there is any plan, or let us say, intention on the part of the government to specify the duration, how many more years to go for reservation. One. Two. Whether there is any proposal on the part of the government to review the existing quota reservation in the government sector. I'll come later on to my point uh, of view, but these two questions I would like to request our OCM to answer. Speaker, sir. I will come to the supplementary question raised by the questioner. The specific duration was not mentioned. I'll reply those two questions together. And in the cabinet, we have discussed that we must revisit the backward reservations. And in the cabinet, we decided that there should be specific jurisdiction. However, we will revisit only after we conduct census. But we are not being able to conduct the census and it has been kept on hold because some tribe that has gone to court and it is not being settled. Also, not to have census. So it has all up, up and only when census, proper census is conducted, we will revisit the backward Buddhas. And at that time, we will also specify the jurisdiction. Uh, duration. Uh, I'm thankful to Mr. Sam for the little clarity. Uh, speaker, sir, hmm. there is actually a contradiction in the government policy. Why I'm saying contradiction? Because the answer to my question is, it is reserved on a tribe basis. I have asked a very categorical question, whether it is reserved on a geographical basis or tribe basis. The answer to that question is tribe basis. But uh, again, in the bottom part of the answer, it is also said that somewhere it is geographically identified, which means the Sumis of the eastern areas, the Kifiri part of the Sumis. I don't know how many percent this was given, but uh, that is the geographical. If you are talking of reservation of in the government sector, it is now a geographical area, because Sumis as a tribe are advanced, like the Lotas, Semas, uh, I mean, uh, Lotas, Angamis, and uh, the rest. So therefore, the government in its policy has contradicted uh, in framing the policy. On the one hand, they are telling me that uh, it is on the tribe basis. On the other hand, it is being reserved on the geographical area. Now, the question is, this, since Honorable Sam has answered, I don't want to argue further, but uh, since the cabinet have decided to revisit, I think it has to be done at the earliest. Uh, the policy which is adopted at the moment is from 1997 onwards, 25% reservation. Then it has now increased to 37%. 
of the job reservation. Out of this 37% reservation, 25% goes to our ENU areas. Let us come back to the ENU areas. They have initially the ENU comprising of uh, about seven tribes. Now, with the addition of uh, Chakasans and Buchuris, uh, it is nine. So, nine tribes were a part of the job reservation quota. Now, within this seven tribe, let us exclude uh, Buchuris and Chakasans because they are, they are from Pack district. How do you distribute? There is another problem compounding to that is Dikir has also been recognized officially as a tribe. Now, if you, there's a lot of complication here. Then you come back to Honorable Service telling us that uh, there is a, the 2001 is under challenge as far as the census is concerned. I'm aware of that. Uh, but I'm not very conversant with 2011 census, whether it is under challenge or not. But if we go by that record, 2011 census, Moon records 2,50,000 plus population. From that 25%, how do the government distribute? Having, let us come back, compare, I'm only comparing the statistics which is, which is available on the report. Gifri records about 74,000, Longland records about uh, 50,000, Jiwon Sang 96,000. So, a population of having 2,50,000 of Mohan district, if they are getting one EAC this year, then a population having 50,000 of that particular tribe also will get one EAC. Where is the justification, speaker said? How do you, uh, where is the equilibrium in distributing the quota even within the reserve group? So this backward quota will never come to an end. And government is saying that there is no uh, specific duration for this. No. We have to have a specific duration. We have to take our people forward. We cannot keep them years together, 100 years together to be backward. And therefore, I must insist that uh, there should be a duration in the backward reserve group. And I'm only giving an example. I have no grudges with any other individuals, locations, or tribe. But the, the Gonyats will keep demanding, even if we decide that we will end the tribe uh, backward quota reservation by three years from now, two years from now. But they will still tell us that, look, we have this much population. Our other friends call it 10 DSPs, 10 EACs. We are, we are still standing at 10 EACs, 10 DSPs. We are, we are yet to recover this much. There will be a fight within the backward quota group again. Now, pocket wise, the government, in fact, and intentionally has implemented the uh, quota reservation on pocket wise. There should be no problem now. Why I'm saying this? Because the subjects of eastern areas have been given. They have been already given, identifying from the pocket wise. Now my people from Hungary areas have started demanding that uh, we should be also given a backward reserve quota. Likewise, uh, you know, in the, some of the our areas, like along that way where my younger brother ministers up uh, in our own represents. These are backward areas. We, we are that as a backward for, for forward tribe. Angami areas of most of the southern uh, areas. So I think we have to start identifying the pocket wise. For example, the Chakasangs. Chakasangs of Fuzero and Sosopas are no more backward speakers. Uh, they are as pretty as any one of us. They are as good as any one of us. But Jagasangs of my honorable MLS up here, Peg area, Chizami areas, they, will, they are still backward. I am aware of that. So also with the Sangdams. The Sangdams of the Longkim Chari are very close to you, Speaker Sir. Very close to Longsa, Mokusum district. They are also far at once. But Sangdams of Gifri district, Siojung city bees are backward. When, if, if you have seen the the Supreme Court latest decision on the creamy layer. Of course, it is subject to debate. But uh, we also have to identify within the reserve group who are the creamy layers. Then start segregating them. Then the, the real meaning of quota reservation will come in. The real deserving ones doesn't get. Even within the reserve group. Because those who are living in the uh, urban areas, 
They are the ones who are actually being sending their uh, kids to the uh, good schools, good cities, and they come back with a breakwater certificate and they get a job. The one who is graduated from the high schools in the village, in the district headquarter, doesn't get that opportunity. So where is the equilibrium? Where is justice here? So therefore, I would suggest that this, there has to be overhauling of the uh, backward quota reservation, and it has to be identified on the pocket wise. Let's come back to the even, I'll call it beyond that, uh, the, the reservation, even on the IPS, uh, NBS uh, category. That uh, NCS, IES, quota. There also there is some uh, re-study is required because most of these are being occupied from, from by the services from the outside state. Now our state cutters are also you know, uh, being neglected in many ways. So when we say reservation, I think overhauling a wholesome approach is required. You see what has happened. This uh, the backward quota reservation. It will uh, it will the, the debate not only a debate. If you see the recent uh, incident in Bangladesh, speaker sir, the Prime Minister was forced to resign Sheikh Hasina on the 4th of August. Uh, the protest started by the student group on what? 30% reservation for the dissidents of the freedom fighters. The issue started from there, it polarized to a larger political, of a higher magnitude of course. But it all started from that backward uh, Goda reservation within the job, government job sector. I'm not saying, I'm not provoking such situation here, but if we are not careful on this job reservation, now the advanced uh, tribe like the uh, Aos, Sevas, Lotas, Regmas, we also started gaining up, gaining up that look. We also have the demand our uh, pound of flesh. Where, is, where, where, where are we going to end? There's going to be a big war within the Naga family. And therefore, unless government comes up with the a uh, very practical solution, a proposal. It is going to be a big problem for uh, the state. And uh, for that, I would like to insist that the government, this CM has already announced that uh, there will be a revisit. I'm happy with that. But there is a lot of uh, things to be done in this and um, proper rationalization of the backward uh, Goda is required. Even for the People with Disability Act, there is also a reservation. So the reservations of reservations. So how do we uh, synchronize all this for the better of our society? So this is what I would like to put across my uh, point of contention. Thank you. I want to thank the honorable member for speaking out his mind and what he thinks about it. As clearly mentioned, I said review can be done only when we conduct a fresh census. And regarding the ENPO area of six tribes, now seven. In this issue, I'm aware that the population in the tribes is different. Onyaks having 1.50 lakhs, 150,000, and some small tribes has very low, not even half or a quarter. But let me tell you, I question at that time our honorable members that if you go by your proposal, big or small, if tribes should go by rotation and will get equal percentage, it is not justified and you will quarrel again. But they told me that it is decided by the ENGO and we all agreed. So it can go ahead. So with their proposal, we had done like that. Recent time, particularly more district, they started complaining that they should be given according to their population ratio.
this will be possible only when the new census is conducted and the whole state, not only Irpio or now the present backward areas, backward tribes, but everything has to be overall and as mentioned, even specific duration should be kept. Now in this, the care they wanted a separate percentage quota. But the government decision was till such time review is taken, they should be within that income purview. So they should share. That is a stand. But I learned that they had gone to court to fight for the right. <laughs> Nobody can stop and everybody, I feel that the whole Nagas, who are travels, we are all backward. <coughs> but among the backward, some little more advanced, we agreed that yes, we should bring the backward areas for the people at par with the state. But in this, in life, nobody including myself or yourself, we don't get 100% justice. So, as a family of the Nagas, we have different tribes, but we have to compromise and to work out a formula to coexist and live in peace. Otherwise, we fight individually why we, the tribalism is very strong? Because all these things were promoting more of our own tribes. Naga movement, why it could not be resolved? Because Nagaism, we are fighting among the tribal level. Our tribes come first. Our Naga, come, Naga issue come last was still at the level of individualism, tribalism. We have not come to the Nagaism. And that's why we are in this form of situation. Therefore, we as an elected member, we have to guide our people. And instead of making more complicated, we should contribute to resolve when the time comes. Thank you.